afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between Fergie Jenkins, the right-hander from Canada, will be the starting pitcher. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in his last one. He struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Dan, D. Rowe, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I have mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this high. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Jenkins has thrown a little over 50 innings and has amassed an ERA of exactly one. He's basically been untouchable. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Behind 0-2 now. Bounced weakly near the plate. That winds up foul. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. And it's fouled away. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And from the jump, the Pirates have to deal with a real burner standing at first base. Ambush tactics right there, but he didn't try and do too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. In now, Bernie Banks popped him up. Stallings has a play. One away. So a runner on first with That's one out now. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. From the stretch. Runner goes for second. A pitch out. The throw on the pitch out pays off as he is nailed at second base. And this is popped up near second base. Newman is there, and they breeze through this half. All set for the start of the inning, and set to go as the third baseman, Colin Moran. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. Fouled away. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Here's another 0 2. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Into the box now, Jason Martin, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. 
this is part of what makes him one of the best pitchers in the game. He pounds strikes and his stuff is really tough to make contact with. And when you fall behind 0-2, good luck. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jason Martin is sent packing for out number two in the inning. A pause and the 0-2 fouled off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Working for the punch out and the offering. But an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. Pirates leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Chris Bryant now, swinging it well we in go. the series so Four far at a 4 for 10 clip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Wind up and the 0 1. Loud contact off the bat of Bryant and sent deep to left. Into the bleachers and gone. Chris Bryant leaves the yard with a solo shot. Number 25 for him on the year, and the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Stepping in now, Billy Williams. Little chopper back to the mound. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Ryan Denver. So stepping in, Ryan Sandberg. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Back up the middle. And that gets through for a one out base hit. You know, Dero, I'm not sure if you're one of those superstitious guys, but. A 13 game hitting streak seems like a pretty good number for this guy. Yeah, that's the old Baker's dozen right there. We're almost looking at two weeks of just sleeping like a baby. I can't be, you're gonna hear me reiterate this throughout this streak. I can't tell you when you're swinging the bat like this, your food tastes better, your wife gets prettier, everything is just working. That evens it up one and one. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. This is line to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And this one will bounce into the wall. The relay throw. And Hayward is in at third base. He's got himself a triple. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. On a rope to the second baseman. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Fergie Jenkins. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Liner toward right center. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Boy, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You're that's facing the opposing that's pitcher, not. and you give up a two-out RBI. Yeah. I got to believe he's contemplating yeah. retirement. A two-out not given up to the opposing pitcher. Oh, Listen, as a pitcher, you hate to give up base hits, but you doubly hate to give up base hits to the opposing pitcher. And guys, as we take a look at the Pirates coming into this afternoon, boy, the last few weeks have not been kind to them. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Jamison Tyone. 
Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. First offering on its way. Now Kevin Newman will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Behind 0 and 2 now. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three pitch strikeout. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Bryant is up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. 1 2 3 go the Pirates. They trail it here. We're just about set to go here as the Cubs come to bat in the third inning, and Chicago fans have been fortunate to watch one of the best offenses around this season. In fact, with the highest team batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage in all of Major League Baseball, it's probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense in the sport these days. As one player told me earlier, yeah, I mean, you don't have to dig too deep into the stats to understand the level we're playing at. We have a special group, we know it, and we still think we can get better. Safe to say no one else around the league hopes they can, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And this will be hauled in shy of the track for out number one as the runner will retreat to first. On to first, a double play. Now batting. So two are gone play. now in the Cubs Three. half of the third. And that'll bring up Chris yeah. Bryant. Yeah, Matt, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two-out knock. Well, this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they can put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Up next to the call, the second baseman, Ryan Sandberg. To the plate now, Ryan Sandberg, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score any more here... Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall. A home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left, number 298 in his career. As they pile on, it's now 6 to nothing. Here's the Pirate skipper up out of the dugout now on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So it's an early shower here this afternoon as this will not go down as one of his better outings. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Stayed on the attack. Kept his hands inside the ball and took what the pitcher gave him. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. You know, d -roll, that's okay. not a bad way to keep okay. it going. And base hit right there. Hitting streak, 15 yeah. games and counting. Yeah, we're halfway through a calendar month, and he looks up and he's had a knock. You can't get caught up in it. You have to trust the process. Keep doing what got you to this point. Staying focused, not trying to do too much, staying within your plan and studying the opposing pitcher. At the plate, Fergie Jenkins. Strike called, now the throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. That's not easy to do, to steal third off a catcher that has an elite arm like this. Great base running there. 
This is hit softly to third. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. But the Cubs do. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going. So what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now the right field. First pitch on its way. Gregory Polanco will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Boy, he center cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location, no matter how hard you're throwing. So it was a swinging strike three. Gregory Polanco goes down for out number two in the top half. Colin Moran is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. On the ground to the right side. He's got it. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said their ability to get on the attack and chase the opposing starter from the game prior to the fourth inning obviously sets them up nicely for the rest of the game. Now, he just hopes they can keep that same focus at the plate in the middle and late frames, Matt. Okay, thank you, Heidi. At the plate, Ernie Banks. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Smoked on the ground, left side. And this is gonna find its way into left for a one-out knock. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second Number knock three. of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Strike taken, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, some may say that's a questionable steal with such a big lead, but to me, it's still too early to worry about disrespecting the other team. I've seen leads like this disappear, so... High and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Polanco. Still ranging back. Gone! So that was the third home run for these guys today. Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't really? find it to be the truth. I didn't mind oh, hitting yeah. that night. But a lot of guys say they see the... Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. The batter, no left fielder. Billy. Standing in now, Billy Good Williams. Job. Oh, could it be three in a row? And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now back, second base. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count, make the pitch, or waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 10-0 score. So they continue okay. to swing the bats well here in the opening month of the season as we take a look at the team leaderboard for total runs scored. And you can see, in fact, that these guys currently lead the National League in that category and, in fact, lead all of baseball as well. Martin will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Digging in and looking for more, Wilson Contreras. One for two on his line so far in the game. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The pitcher, number 31. So now to the plate, Fergie Jenkins. In there, now the throw. Not in time, and how about that for Daring? It's a two-out double steal. 
the 0 1 pitch line towards center field into the slide and he comes up with a great catch to end. Welcome back to the north side of Chicago back here at Wrigley Field as we check in with Heidi. Well, Matt, I talked with Pittsburgh's manager during the inning break about the Pirates' offensive production to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And that'll get down for a base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And it's a good start to the inning for the Bucks. It's a leadoff double. So quickly into scoring position here following the opposite field double. And as we call on our team leaderboard, you can see his total currently fourth best on this Pirate Ball Club. Jason Martin is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. and A ball and two strikes now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Stole cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The one two. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Williams is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for route number two. And he will thankfully make it back to second as he almost got caught out there. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, And that one ends the inning. One left for Pittsburgh. Lead looks insurmountable here. They're down 10 nothing. Nick Birdie gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least beat a couple of innings for his guys. This one's down to third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now that not your stop, Birdie. Hey, hey. Stepping in, Ernie Banks. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Trying to pick things up where he left Anthony. off. Anthony Rizzo. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. And that misses for ball one. Now it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down go the Cubs on just four pitches, but they're still in front, 10 to nothing. So the Pirates' batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now that Digging in now, Adam Frazier. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Owen won the count. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Got him to go down swinging there. Adam Frazier goes down for out number two in the top half. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. 
I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. And another foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Fouled away. Another 1-2 delivery. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ballgame in the inning. Chris Bryant will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. And that misses one and one. Drilled on the ground to short. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now back, left fielder, Billy Williams. Striding in, Billy Williams. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit hard back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Yeah, that hard hit single right there, that's clean. Three for four, he's looking locked in. Now in the box, Ryan Sandberg singled home a run in his last time up. Line towards center field. Martin is there now, and he has it, two gone. Ready once again, Jason Hayward. He's two for three and looking for more here. He's set, and the pitch. Drilled to first. And he tries to go to a knee to block it, but it's by him down the right field line. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. This guy came in today absolutely on fire, and nothing has changed. He looks seriously bitterish at the dish right now. That's his third knock of the game. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. The pitcher, number 31, Fergie. Into the box, Fergie Jenkins. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. In there, a base hit. One run is in. Throw comes to second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is... Seventh inning ready to roll. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Gregory Polanco. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now that the third baseman. Here comes the first pitch. Moran. Left side, but well fouled. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Right side. On to first, and there were two down. Now batter. Number 44. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. 
boy, D. Roll, the pitch count keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. And this is another example of they're really making this guy work in this one. Yeah, that's the grind right here. You put your hard hat on, you try and find a way to get into that bullpen. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Fouled away. Kramer leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning, and it's fouled away. And yet another strikeout here, his 11th of the ball game, and this one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Richard Rodriguez will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Gerard Dyson is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Now batting, good stop, Ernie. At the plate now, Ernie Banks as he'll send a ground ball down to third to second for one over to Bell for the double play. Now back. Stepping into back. the box, Anthony Anthony's. Rizzo. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. That's in the basket. A home run. It'll be the four-hole hitter, Chris Bryant. Lifetime versus this arm. A handful of plate appearances, and he's gone four for six. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Frazier retreats to the track, and he'll put... Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp. And it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. The center fielder, number six. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Dungeon. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of his secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strikeout there. A 1 1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. 1 and 2 now. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Fouled away. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Pirates, but this one's pretty much over. 14 to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Billy Williams. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. That's one of those tough luck outs that'll drive you crazy as a hitter. He drove that fastball but couldn't get it down, so he has to take hard contact as a consolation. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And that'll hit off the ivy out there. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Here's Jason Hayward now. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Newman takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Settling in now, Wilson Contreras. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. First pitch coming, here it is. Line hard, but foul. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? 
Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping. And it's the pitcher that makes the play to retire. The so here's Adam Frazier starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The first base is 55. First offering on its way. Hit sharply toward the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Here's Gregory Polanco. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. And it's fouled away. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout.